So, good day everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a chain using the snapshot tool. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a chain link. So, a chain link is a single metal ring of a chain. So, a series of chain link is a chain. So, in making the chain link, you have to create first a circle. So, As you can see here, a chain link is not a perfect circle, so what we're going to do is we're going to edit, edit this circle, convert it to editable spline, so that we can easily manipulate its vertices and make it look like a chain link. So what we're going to do is we're going to chamfer these two vertices. So, you have a chamfer, and then in the under the rendering uh, rendering bar, we're going to enable viewport and enable renderer to show its thickness and and edit its thickness. So. So I think it's fine. It's look like a standard chain link. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one. And then rotate. So next thing, next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this first chain link to the other. So first we're going to convert this to editable poly. And then as you can see here, you can see here attach and then attach this first chain link to the second one. And then under the hierarchy, you can see here affect by vote only. So affect by vote only is means that it's it's the affected point in moving or rotating the object so we're going to move this affected pivot only to the center of the first chain link so here and then click affect, affect pivot only again so as you can see here the affected point is at the end of the first chain link so you can easily manipulate it and then in creating a copy of this we're going to first make a path of this See. so uncheck enable viewport and next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this chain link to follow this path under animation you can see here constraints path constraints so under, under the animation menu constraints path constraints and then click it to the path constraints, path constraints, and then click to the path, and then under here, here, here in modify, you can see here, follow, so you're going to click follow, so as you can see here, the object will follow the path, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a copy of this object to the path, so we're going to use this snapshot tool, so under the tools, snapshot, and here the, the snapshot tool. What we're going to do is we're click this range so that this snapshot tool, it will create a copy of this object from the range of 0 to 100. So it's up to you how many copies do you want. So 
for this I'm going to maybe create 40 click OK oh that's a lot so I'm going to do it again snapshot maybe 30 copies so click OK oh and okay there you have it and it will create an instant copy of this object from the path so a very convenient very convenient and easy way for creating multiple copies of an object so there you have it a chain using the snapshot tool